Ephesians 5. And where it speaks to each person. And verse 22. Wives, be subject to your own husbands as to the Lord. Husbands, head of the wife, as Messiah is head of the church. He himself being the savior of the body. But as the church is subject to Messiah, wives ought to be to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives just as Messiah loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of the word. Water with the word. He might present himself to the church in all her glory, having no spot the church presented. In any such thing, she should be holy and blameless. So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his own wife loves himself. Now, what does it say? Does it say, husbands, feel love for your wife? No. I mean, that's amazing. Because you might say, I don't feel love for my wife. Praise the Lord. Love her anyway. That's what the Bible's saying. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Things will come. But the choice is to God. But I don't love my wife anymore. I don't love my husband anymore. And we think, oh, that's too bad. Oh, what can you do? I don't love my wife. I don't love my spouse anymore. Who cares? Who cares? The Bible doesn't ask you if you still love them. It says love them. Think about it. Someone says take out the garbage. And you say, well, I don't take out the garbage anymore. That's irrelevant. God is not interested in what you do. He said do. He's not interested in what you haven't done or done. He says do. Pay your taxes. But I don't pay my taxes anymore. It's irrelevant. Take out that garbage. I don't do it. I don't take out the garbage like I used to. Doesn't matter. Do you think husbands always feel like loving their wives? Do you think that wives always feel like loving their husbands? Even in the best marriages. I know a real good Christian marriage. The man says, there have been times I wanted to push her out of the bed. Thank God he never did, but he felt that. How many here? No. Uh, I don't. You know, people say, you know, I, you know, I don't, I used to love him, I just don't love him like I used to. You know, I love him, good, love him better than you used to. Because then you were coasting. Now it's love. Then it was all the stuff that happened. God never asked you if you loved your spouse. He just said love. How about your children? God says love your children. Bless them. Well, I don't really express that to my, it doesn't matter. It says love them. But you know how my children have disappointed me? Love them. You know how much they've hurt me? Love them. They've gone off and they just rejected the whole the Lord and everything else. They've broken my trust. Love them. It doesn't ask you that. There's no more left, love left in my heart for them. Love them anyway. The Lord says, love your parents. Honor them. Bless them. But my parents hurt me. It's not the issue. Love them. But they never gave me the upbringing I deserve. Who told you what you deserved? We deserve judgment. God blessed us. Love them. My father disappointed me. Well, you probably disappointed him too. Love him. My mother hurt me. You probably hurt her too. Love him. Love her. I don't feel great love for my parents. Good. Love him. Turn to, turn to Luke 14. I want to show you something. Luke 14. This is the kind of lives we're to live, where we're to live in the Lord. Luke 14. And verse... No. 12. He also went on to say to the one who had invited him, when you give a luncheon or a dinner, don't invite your friends or your brothers or your relatives or your rich neighbors, lest they also invite you back and repayment come to you. But when you give a reception, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind. And you'll be blessed since they don't have the means to bless you back. You will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. How many of you have done that? How many of you have had a get together and you specifically said, I want to invite the people who can't bless me back in any way. Not only bless me back that way, but I may not even be blessed by them. But I want to bless them. That's the love of God. That's the love of God. We need to practice that love and it will get stronger in us. People, practice loving people who cannot 
bless you back, who you don't have anything to expect from them, you don't even necessarily desire, you may not even be blessed to be around them, love those people. Right now, go to one of those people right now, you don't care about it all, and tell them, no. <laughs> Practice loving people who are not in any way to you lovely. Practice loving the ones people don't love. Practice loving the people that other people don't find pleasant. Practice loving the unloving. The outcast, the person who has no status, no authority, no anything. The person you won't love, the person you don't love, the person you can't love, love them. Love the one you don't. You'll have a chance this week to do it. You'll have a chance to love the one who cannot, and that is the love of God. And when you do it, there's this freedom. That's why it says, love your enemies. Why? Because then you know it's the love of God. Every time it's hard to love, that's when you're given the chance for something divine. When you can get mad and upset and lose it instead, oh, I love you, brother. I love you, sister. But, and do it, not just say it. When you look at somebody and you say, oh, I don't really love. When you're tired, you don't feel like loving, choose to love. You don't have any love left in you. You feel like getting your self-centered or love. When you feel like feeling sorry for yourself because they hurt me, love. Choose to love. When you feel like getting into judgment, say, no, 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 no. I choose to love them. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA.